into the corner with the leading score, Kaylee Walsh. Drives strong to the hoop, can't get it, stays with it. And a second chance effort is Jillian Brown hoists and hits from the corner. So for the Salukis, this is their third game. 0-2 so far, like we mentioned, but they've had a different lineup in all three games. As there's a theft from the senior from Belleville, Illinois. Hey, Kayla Rainey, they go the other way. It's transition the bucket for Sydney Wood. Sydney Stein's reign came to an end. Kelly Bond White named the head coach at the end of March of this year. Deep three is up and in, buried by Aja Holmes, who's back into the starting lineup. I feel like Sean Walsh should really be able to supplant themselves down low today. And Walsh, who's coming into this game, shooting 50% from three. Stops, turns, and hits. Nice move there, using the spin. 25 in the first quarter. Kiara Love, who easily plays the most minutes on this team. 32.1 minutes per contest. The layup good. Second bucket for Lanaya Randall. Put the, puts the ball on the floor and finishes for the layup. Coming off the screen, Morris with a three and a chance for a four-point play. 8.15 to go here, second quarter. Wildcats leading by 13. A great look inside and another bucket for Walsh, who's got 13. Uh, they, they, they don't necessarily, I mean, obviously after losing Veronica Burton last year, is such a big part of that team as what a move by Kayla Rainey, finishing through contact. Leading by 18, trying to get it to 20 for the first time. Walsh thought about the three, puts it on the deck, gets all the way to the hoop, and kisses it off the window. She had 21 points last time out, but remember, in that, se in that season opener, she only had two points. She's got a two-point game and a 21-point game. Deep three is drilled by Ashley Jones, and they needed that. Sydney Wood ready to check in at the next whistle. That's a big screen from Morris. Halo Rainey with another strong drive and another finish. He missed that free throw, so she's two for two with four points at this uh, point. Four points, there you go. Mason has the ball up top, leading the point. Nice lob it, side and one for Promise Taylor as Walsh picks up the foul. That's her second. She is easily leading the attack with 12 of their 26 points right now. Lau probing, and she turns it over. Jones sprinting the other way, all the way in for the layup. Maybe maybe, maybe that's, that's, that's how you get her shooting to get better. Heads up play by Wood, lefty layup good for Jillian Brown. Dribble off the foot, game clocks at five. Wood has it into the front court. Gonna have to hoist the triple, she does and she hits it! Sticks the three at the buzzer, and Northwestern leads by 18. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, just slowing this game down after a couple of quick turnovers for both sides. And a good look inside on the left block, the and one for Courtney Shaw. Great job by Courtney Shaw. More speed this time. Ashley Jones into the front court, dishes to the corner. The three up and good for Jane and Mason, who's starting to feel herself here in this third quarter. Carrying that ball too. So it's something to watch, because Mason's got four, Randall's got three, Brown's got three. And on the other side, has a foul and an and one. Ashley Jones continues to be a spark plug off the bench. So just that one of six start for Northwestern. Great back cut for Sydney Wood. What a find from Walsh. Feels like so often they've cut the deficit down to 12, but can't get closer. What a steal with the weak side help from Shaw. Looking to push Lau up ahead. Wood the shot, fake, stops, pops, and hits. Lau will look up ahead to Wood. That was a risky pass, but it was right on the money. And now a baseline jumper for Mel Daly. Too strong. Shaw's there again. Her third offensive rebound in the last two possessions. And this time there to clean it up with the and one. Ashley Jones, a whole lot of dribbling. Tierney Brown still trying to find it offensively. She hasn't made a field goal, has two points. But Ashley Jones picks him up with a big triple. Here is Hartman with the basketball sprinting all the way down the floor, coast to coast for the and one. What a play, using the speed, getting out. Walsh got 17 points, only had two in that third quarter. Three away from that career high, trying to tie it with a triple here, and she does. Came out of nowhere in Sky to pluck that out of the air. Another open look in the corner for Holmes, and she hits her second of the afternoon. And that one looked much more comfortable. Driving all the way strong to the hoop. That was a good bucket for Jaden Mason, who spent a whole lot of time here in the second half on the bench with those four fouls. On the road against a Big Ten opponent. I think this is something they can build off of, and for Northwestern, they needed to win this game. It's good child, buries the triple. 
into the front court. The scoop layup was no good from Belcher. And that's how this one will come to a close.